Hi everyone. So here I'm doing exercise 4.4 for first question and this is a EBIT. This is from a simple equation of class 7. Let's read the question. The question is Muna subtracts thrice the number of notebooks he has from 50. He finds the result to be 8. So we have to form an equation and then solve it and get the number which is unknown. Let's start solving this. Since we don't know how many number of notebook Munna has, we have to assume that to be a equal to a variable. A variable can be any alphabet like a x, y, a, b, anything you can take it. So let's assume first that. So let's take let number of notebook is equal to x. Now let's start framing the equation. What they are saying? Munna subtracts thrice the number. Thrice means three times of a number means 3x. So, so he is subtracting thrice the number of notebook he has from 50. Means from 50 he is subtracting thrice of a books. So it is 3x and he find the result to be equal to 8 that's it this is the equation we got now we know we have to bring all the constants on one side of the equation and all the variables to one more side of the equation so what I'm gonna do instead of taking a 50 to other side I'll bring 8 to the left hand side and I'll take minus 3x to the right hand side because minus 3x like it's a variable so this will become 50 minus 8 is equal to 3x now 50 minus 8 is 42 is equal to 3x. Now see we want only x we don't want this 3 here but 3 is under multiplication with x. When you transpose here to the other side of equation multiplication will become division. So from here we can say that x is equal to 42 upon 3. So you can also write down 42 upon 3 is equal to x both are same you just interchange your LHS and RHS it doesn't gonna affect the answer it will remain same so from here you can cancel 42 and 3 so this is 3 ones are and here you can divide it or you can cancel it so this will be equal to 14 so therefore x is equal to 14 or we can say number of book Munna got is 14 I hope it's clear in case you have a question or doubt, you can drop a comment below and thank you so much for watching.